2025. What? 40K or 2025. What? It's a super simple game. I'm gonna give you a factoid, and you tell me whether you think it belongs to the fictional grimdark far future of Warhammer 40K, or the potentially real but no less grimdark near future that Project 2025 envisions. Ready to give it a shot? Oh uh, yeah? Okay. This authoritarian nationalist autocracy operates under an oppressively strict set of rules that is heavily infused with its own religious doctrine. Wow, uh, sorry, I didn't think the questions were going to be that hard. Um, yeah, I'm going to say Warhammer 40k. Oh, so close, but no, it's Project 2025. See, ever since the Horus Heresy, the Imperium of Man has operated as an oligarchy under the Senatorum Imperialis, whereas Project 2025 seeks to consolidate all the power into the executive branch, bypassing the checks and balances of our democracy, making it a de facto autocracy. So close, but uh, I guess you truly know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. Do better. I'm sorry. Nope, it's actually Project 2025 that wants to completely ban pornography. The Imperium in 40k is surprisingly okay with it. Some officers even carry porno slates for those lonely nights on the battlefield. Well, what? They want to straight up ban porn? I know, it sucks! What do you want? Uh, you, you want we all want porn. Yeah, I get, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, you get. I like the POV stuff. Ooh, very good. Yes, both the Imperium in 40k and Project 2025 abhor the idea of a truly free and independent press. Thought I was gonna get you that trick question, but clearly you're a free thinker. <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> the Imperium despises free thinkers. Okay, here's a tough one. The economic policies in this society favor wealthy individuals and corporations by featuring minimal government oversight and taxation for the rich, leading to a stark class divide where upward mobility is nearly impossible. Okay, that's gotta be 40k. Sorry, but it's actually 2025. While an insane class divide does exist in 40k, the mere thought of an individual not paying their imperial tithe alone is tantamount to heresy. <laughs> Are you a heretic, brother? No. We shall see. Okay, final question. This society regularly employs children as an inexpensive labor force in a variety of undesirable and often extremely hazardous positions. Oh, that sucks. Cause like from a basic human decency standpoint, like, you know, I want to say 40K, but based on how all these questions have been going, I'm gonna say both? Yep, you got it. Both happily exploit child labor. In fact, Project 2025 even uses the claim that some teens show an interest in inherently dangerous jobs as justification for these deplorable and exploitative practices. That's fascinating. So they're just gonna like legalize anything teens show interest in? Shockingly, no. Just the ones that increase their revenue. Of course. Well, thanks for playing 40K or 2025. I hope you had fun and maybe even learned a thing or two. Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's wild how similar they both are. Yes, wild, not so utterly disheartening that I want to vomit on a daily basis. Well, I'm going to go lie down and try and not think about how the upcoming election is still a statistical tie.